Being comfortable is feeling fully supported, but results in low muscle tone. This means if we are fully supported, our muscles don't have to work to support us. Think of them as being relaxed. But movement is compulsory in order to maintain a feeling of comfort. And often without realizing it, we move position all the time. So our muscles work and then relax. If something becomes painful, this tells us to move differently or with more variety or to move more frequently to maintain that feeling of comfort in any position. Look how many times Physio Fran changes position while watching TV in order to maintain that feeling of comfort. Now let's imagine how we would feel if we couldn't do this ourselves. Here's Kay helping to demonstrate what happens when we've been in one position like sitting in a wheelchair for a long time. If you are unable to move your arms and legs and sit in a wheelchair all day, you don't get the movement your body needs to remain comfortable. Imagine how you feel if you've been on a long car journey. You get out of the car feeling chair shaped, car shaped, and you need to move. If we can't move our arms and legs when we are placed in a different position, gravity will push us into the easiest position it can find but this is not necessarily a good position for our body. If Kay falls into this position when she is moved out of her wheelchair, it will quickly become uncomfortable as she is not well supported and her hips and knees are still bent, like they were when she was in her wheelchair. Encouraging or helping your child to change position frequently is really important to stop them becoming chair shaped with tight hips and knees. Here we're going to show you some different positions that you can try with your child. Spending some time lying on their back is really useful for your child, giving their hips and knees a good stretch. If your child finds it difficult to lie straight in bed, you can use things that you have around the house to help them to lie straighter. Here we've used pillows and cushions under the knees to help keep them in the middle and teddies to help bring arms away from the body and also to give the trunk some support. Make sure calves are supported and heels are off the bed so that they don't get sore. Some children can be encouraged to lie on their tummy when playing, like here playing on a games console. If your child finds it difficult to lie on their tummy because of tightness at their hips and knees, you can use cushions and pillows under the hips and lower legs to give them some support. Always make sure airways are clear and that your child can breathe easily. Another option is side lying. This can be used to play or to relax. It's usually more comfortable to have a pillow or a cushion between the knees. Make sure your child doesn't lie on the same side all the time. Encourage them to change sides. If your child doesn't lie in a good position, you can use pillows, cushions and teddies again to give them some support and help them to lie in a more symmetrical posture. Don't forget both sides though. Long sitting is a great position for stretching out the hamstrings at the back of the legs. Make sure that their bottom is back and that they're sitting up as straight as they can. Long sitting can be quite tricky for children who find it difficult to sit. Here we've used the corner of the sofa, a rolled up towel under the knees and two teddies to support the trunk. This has produced a much more symmetrical posture. It often feels good to move your body, particularly if it has been in one position for a while or if your child finds it hard to move a part of their body themselves. Helping your child to move parts of their body can feel good. It may help muscles relax and feel more comfortable. Maybe you can encourage movement like this, using a ball to push away. You get some arm movement and some trunk movement. You can help your child move their legs. See how Laura is positioned close to the limb she is moving and supports the leg as she moves it. Get your child to join in with this movement. You can gain some movement in the bottom of the back by taking your child's legs side to side like this. Try to get your child to join in with this movement as you do it. You can also help your child move their arms. 
Taking their arm above their head moves the shoulder joint. You can also stretch out from their elbow or take their arm out to the side. Get your child to join in with the movements as much as they can. For children who cannot move their arms, sometimes just letting them hang down by their sides can provide an easy way to change position. Please be careful when you do this and if you're not sure that your child's shoulders will cope with this position, please check with your physio or OT first.